Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am back. Today's topic is going to be what are my person's intentions towards me now? Um, I believe I did a reading on this a few months ago, um, but this is one of those subjects that I just like to revisit from time to time because these sorts of situations do change um, and they can change kind of quickly. So um, all of my pick a cards are timeless, of course, unless otherwise stated. Uh, so if you do feel led to watch that old uh, intentions video, that's fine. Um, obviously there's some message in there for you, uh, but today I just felt like we needed to get a few more messages on this topic. Um, we're going to have four uh, piles of cards to choose from, um, but before we get started, I just want to say that uh, thank you to those of you who uh, wished me well. Um, I was sick for the last few days. I am feeling much better today. Um, if you're waiting on a private reading from me, please bear with me. I am getting there. I am knocking them out slowly but surely. Uh, so if you're waiting on me to get you your reading, I'm planning on having all of my current orders completed hopefully by this weekend. Um, also, I did go ahead and reopen my Etsy store. I got caught up enough that I felt comfortable doing that. Um, so if you're wanting a private reading from me, check the link to my Etsy store. It is in the description box. You can go over there and check out what uh, reading options I have available right now. I have four different re types of readings that you can get. Uh, so if you're interested, take a look at that. The link is down below. Also, I do have a link to my PayPal down there. Um, if you would like to uh, leave me a tip or send me a donation, um, all tips, donations uh, are go straight to uh, improving the channel, um, equipment, cards, that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, we got three piles today. For pile number one, we have this ring that I got at my state's uh, Renaissance Fair a few years ago. I wish my camera would focus. Um, there we go. I believe this thing is, oops, I believe this ring is handmade. Um, I don't remember the name of the shop where I got it though. That It was like five years ago probably. Um, but I like it a lot. I wear it fairly often. Um, for group two we have this cute little hematite ring. Um, most of you probably know this, but hematite allegedly uh, absorbs negative energies. So um, I have heard people say that when they wear uh, hematite jewelry, that um, sometimes it like makes their hand or like their arm that it's on like hurt um and i've also heard people say that like after a period of time of like wearing their jewelry it just kind of suddenly breaks um which is interesting i'm not sure what what's up with that uh i've had this ring for a few years now obviously it's not broken so i don't know maybe i don't have that much negativity inside of me <laughs> um Anyway, for group three, we have this lovely um, octopus ring. This is one that I just got recently, and it is by far my favorite right now. And I wish my camera would focus on these things. Anyway. So, I will give you a moment to think about your person and choose uh, your pile. All right. Pile one. Let's see what your person's intentions towards you are. 
The first card we have is Bring Love Into the Situation. This is the New Moon in Aquarius card. Um, let's see. Your tarot cards are the Two of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Very interesting. So what I'm getting so far is that it seems to me like you and this person have had some sort of falling out or maybe you've just not been in contact with each other you've been in some kind of separation something like that there's been some sort of conflict between you and i feel like you and the person that you're thinking about have probably um not really been in touch for a while now so What I'm getting from these cards is that this ending that the two of you experienced um, was painful for them. It was difficult for them. They are also, I think, wanting to put an end to this separation. Um, with the Knight of Swords, this card is about, like, clarity. It's about honesty telling the truth um so i'm seeing the knight of swords as your person like wanting to come towards you first of all um and also wanting to tell you something there's there's something that's on their mind that i think they want to communicate to you um and then the two of cups and bring love into the situation, these two cards are telling me very similar things. Um, two of Cups is about love. It is about partnerships, union. Um, so what this is telling me is that like, you're, whoever you're thinking about, I feel like this person is wanting to come towards you. I think they're wanting to tell you some truth that they have on their mind. And I feel like they want to basically just like give you their love okay um let's see what other cards you have we've got we have breathe it is in the reverse position and we also have not the right time interesting so the breathe card um in the upright this card is about like meditation it talks about uh rest it talks about patience uh, a slow moving situation um, in the reverse position, though, it's it's more of kind of a lazy energy. Um, and so what this is telling me is that your person wants to do these things. They want to tell you something that's important to them. They want to end this period of separation or this period of hardship or whatever that's happening between you right now. They want to give you their love basically however they are also in this energy of like laziness and procrastination um and with this card not the right time for some reason your person i think is just feeling like the reason why they're not actually doing this stuff is because for some reason they feel as though now is not a good time to actually take those actions okay um could be for any number of reasons but i feel like for a lot of you um your person we have the passion card flying out here um your person does feel very passionately about you but there's something that's just holding them back um we got the soulmate card too popping out um so it's very likely that this person is a soul connection. Uh, I, I'm hearing the word embarrassed. Uh, so whatever went on between you guys in the past that created this Ten of Swords uh, moment, I feel like they're embarrassed by it. They feel kind of ashamed about it. Um, it could be that they did something, you know, f stupid and they regret it. Um, and they're just like... <laughs> they're not wanting to come forward yet because they're still like 
they still feel bad or they still feel their emotions are still kind of too raw. They still are like, they have to get over the embarrassment or the guilt or whatever before they will actually come towards you. Okay. Um, we also have getting to know each other. So this basically is telling me like, yeah, they, they would like to come towards you. They would like to communicate with you. Um, it's kind of like they want to get to know you all over again, but they're not going to do it just yet. Um, and I'm not sure when they might actually get off their ass and take this action. Um, of course, this is just general, so it's going to vary for all of you anyway, but um, we got the There's Something Better card. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys maybe have already kind of moved on from this. Not to say that, I mean, obviously you're still thinking about it or else you wouldn't have been thinking about this particular person, but I feel like you guys are no longer super invested in what happens here. Um, I feel like a lot of you have just kind of surrendered as far as this situation is concerned, which is a good thing. Um, and maybe you have sort of moved on. However, I don't think that this person has moved on. I don't think this person is doing what you're doing. They are still holding on to it. They're still thinking about it. Um, yes. <laughs> yes, they are. Um, so, it's, as far as, like, when they're going to take this action towards you, it's hard to say. I'm not really getting a time frame, unfortunately. Um, but... I want to say a couple of months at least for the majority of you guys, <coughs> um, just because <clears throat> this like energy of procrastination is still so strong. This you know not now, not the right time energy is still so strong. It's like surrounding them, so uh, I think it's going to take some time for them to move out of this. Okay, guys. Um, but I think eventually they will, and eventually they will come back towards you, and I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. You know, we have the soulmate card, and we have the two of cups, two cards that are indicative of a soulmate connection, so I, I feel like for many of you, there is also an element of unconditional love going on here, um, which is great. But, like I said, I think a lot of you guys have already kind of surrendered this situation. You're already sort of, you know, you're continuing to move forward. This person is not, though, for most of you. Um, even if it looks like they're moving on or they have moved on, I don't, I think the reality is that, you know, inside, they're, they're still stuck on whatever happened. Um, and once they get over these feelings that they're having, the guilt, the embarrassment, the whatever, whatever feelings it is that's holding them back, I do feel like they're going to come forward, okay? Um, it's just going to take a little bit more time. I'm, like I said, I feel like for most of you, probably a couple of months at least. Um, so, pile number one, that's your reading. Those are your person's intentions towards you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, also, I hope you like my new tablecloth that I got. Um, it's kind of see-through, so you can sort of, like, see my legs up underneath my, my table, right? Can you see that? There's my hand. Um, I have a glass table, and this cloth is whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope this resonated with you and I hope I see you next time. Okay, group two. Let's see. What are your person's intentions towards you? <sighs> the first card we have is emotions are running high. Okay, next we've got the world tree. We've got the wheel, and we have the stag. Okay, so, um, hmm. Okay, so, um, emotions are running high. The super moon card, this card 
is fairly self-explanatory. Um, this card is telling me that this person has some really strong feelings about you, about this whatever situation that you guys are in together. Um, I feel like you and this person have seen, I feel like you have faced some setbacks together or you are currently um, being presented with an obstacle within this connection um, because the stag, this card corresponds to the strength card in the traditional tarot. Um, so this is about like overcoming obstacles, right? It's about perseverance. We also have the world tree. This card is the last card in the deck. This card is about completion. We have the wheel card, a another card about cycles, um, and also movement. So I'm feeling like this person is wanting to move forward within this connection. Um, there's something I feel like that's creating some sort of problem. I feel like for most of you, it's probably something external to the two of you. Um, but I don't feel like it's anything that is insurmountable. You know, I feel like it's very possible for you guys to work through whatever this blockage is that you're experiencing. And I think that's what they want to do. And I think they want to kind of close this chapter in your relationship of, you know, where you're being faced with obstacles and there's things blocking you guys' path. They want to move forward. They want to move past that. They want to close that out and start, you know, a new phase, a new chapter in this journey together. Um, and that's because they feel so strongly towards you. We have the yin card and we have ask your angels as well. Um, so yin, this card talks about like being receptive. Um, it's also associated with like the divine feminine energy. Uh, but for the most part, this card just speaks of like receptivity, being open to receiving, you know, whatever gifts, uh, spirit sends our way. Okay. Um, and also ask your angels. It's funny because these two cards are really kind of going hand in hand. Um, what I'm getting is first of all, your person sees you as a gift in their life. Okay. Um, I think that Whatever is going on between you right now, it really does have them concerned. I feel like this person is very fearful of losing you. Yeah, because there's kind of just this magnetism. They feel very strongly connected to you, and they don't want to lose that. Yeah, they don't want they don't want this to happen. They don't want this unrequited love situation to happen. Um, I, and I think they're kind of afraid of that. I think they're afraid that you might turn around and say to them, like, you know, I don't actually like you that much. I don't actually want to be with you, you know, or something like that. Or, or they're afraid that whatever problems are in front of you guys right now, you're going to give up on this connection because of that or because of those things. Does that make sense? Um, and so they are really just kind of, I feel like this person in general is pretty, uh, really somebody who just, who, who likes to take action, who doesn't like to just sit around, somebody who wants to take charge, uh, control their own fate, control their own future. But in this case, I feel like when it comes to this connection, they feel like, yeah, they feel like um, this is something beyond even their comprehension. They feel like this is something f like really intense, really spiritual, and it could be. Um, like I said, this card can indicate divine, the, like the divine feminine energy. Um, so there could be some divine aspect to this connection, but regardless of whether that is actually true for you guys, that's how this person feels. They feel like you have been sent to them as a gift and and they are, I think they're very fearful of losing you. 
And so when it comes to this connection, this person, I think, I feel like I'm, I'm like seeing somebody like praying and stuff. And like, even if this person isn't the type to pray, even if they're not religious or spiritual, I feel like this is something that makes them more open to that stuff, so to speak, because it feels so special to them. It feels so sacred and like inexplicable. Does that make sense, guys? Um, so uh, what these cards are telling me is that A, your person is wanting to, this person is willing to do whatever it takes, basically, to like make this work, okay? They're willing to jump through whatever hoops that are set before them because they care about you so much. And it's, for some of you, it almost feels a little bit obsessive. Um, not to say that that's bad necessarily, uh, but for some of you, it, it could be a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Um, but in general, I think this person does have good intentions towards you. Um, and I, I think that overall this connection is good, healthy, um, for most of you anyway, the, the vast majority. Um, they just... Yeah, um, okay, hold on. The finances and career card is here. For some of you, some of these issues that could be present might be related to money or career. For others of you, this card is just standing in for whatever that that problem is or that uh, obstacle is, okay? Um, doesn't have to literally be finances or career. Um, this is just representing the setback that this connection is facing right now. Um, but they, your person is like so, so in it. You know, there, there's, this person I feel like is dedicated. And if this doesn't sound like them, if this doesn't sound like the person you're thinking about, then I don't think this is your reading because the energy that I'm feeling here is just so invested, so dedicated, so committed. It's like they would do whatever. They're, they're, they're going to do whatever it takes. They want to do whatever it takes. Um, I feel like it's just a matter of are you going to let them? Does that make sense, guys? Um, because from their perspective, you're kind of like a gift. You're like an angel on earth and their their feelings are just so strong and they'd want to move forward with you so so badly um but whatever whatever is going on that's creating a blockage and it could be work it could be money it could be distance like physical distance uh for some of you it could be other people who might be interfering whatever it is they're so fearful that you're going to walk away from them because of this issue. They're afraid that you're not going to think that it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they, I think they want to prove to you that they are worth it. And that's why they're so ready to like, <laughs> they're, they're so ready to put up a fight, you know? They're willing to fight for this. Um... So, uh, group two, <laughs> that's what I've got for you guys. Those are your person's intentions right now. Um, I know these readings today are uh, kind of short. Um, I hope that's okay. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, but like I mentioned at the start, I am recovering from something nasty. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's your message, group two. Remember, these are just general readings. So if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. 
feel free to leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts on the reading. Um, I always love to hear what you guys have, uh, what you guys think. And also, if you have suggestions or requests for future pick a card readings, leave those in the comments below, and I might use your ideas. <laughs> um, all right. So now we're moving on to group number three. Group three, what are your person's intentions towards you right now? Okay, so the first card we have is a time to give rather than take. We also have the eight of swords, the eight of pentacles, and the ten of swords. Interesting. So right away, I'm feeling like there's been some conflict between you and this person. We have higher power, and we have meditation brings answers. Okay, interesting. So, right away, the energy of this spread, these cards here, is kind of passive, actually. Um, because the Eight of Swords, well... The Eight of Swords is about, like, withdrawing. It's kind of like a self-imposed imprisonment. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, however, is about work. It's about putting in effort to get something that you want. Um, the Ten of Swords is about a painful ending, heartbreak, sadness, that kind of thing. Um, and then this card is about giving. It's about, again, putting forth effort towards a goal or a, just a particular thing. Um, but then the higher power card and the meditation brings answers card, these two are kind of passive energies. You know, the higher power card talks to me of surrender. Um, and meditation brings answers. I'm kind of feeling like your person is not in a super active energy right now. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, your person is in this state where more than anything, they're trying to figure this out. They're like trying to figure out what to do here, what the next step should be. Uh, interesting. We have, yeah, we have love yourself first. Honestly, I'm feeling like your person, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling like your person right now, their intentions are to focus on themselves for the time being, okay? This card is talking to me right now about giving to oneself, okay? Um, the Eight of Swords, withdrawing, isolation, somebody keeping to themselves. Um, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive. Um, this is someone who is withdrawing, taking a step back, in order to focus solely on themselves right now. And I feel like when it comes to you particularly, what they have done here is they've kind of surrendered to this situation they're kind of just going to, they're, they're kind of just putting this situation with you, like, on the back burner, just because they, first of all, they don't really know what to do about it, I think. Um, I, from, with the Ten of Swords, I feel like something not so great has happened between you, um, and it probably really, uh, threw them for a loop, uh, and so, they don't know what to do about it, and so they're just kind of not, they're not really planning on doing anything about it. I feel like they're just kind of seeing what happens. They just, they just want to see where it goes at this point. Um, and what they really want to do is just take care of themselves right now. I feel like they, yeah, your, your person, we have the unrequited love card. This doesn't necessarily mean that your person isn't interested enough in you to reciprocate anything, but what this does mean is that they are in a position where they are just not able to do that for whatever reason. They are not able to keep this connection going right now. 
And I think it's because they have some stuff that they need to, like, figure out. And it could be that this Ten of Swords, whatever this Ten of Swords is representing, this is what has prompted that. I feel like the two of you had some kind of falling out, and it could have been the result of, like, maybe you got frustrated with them because they couldn't make a decision or they didn't, they were just kind of floating through life, you know, not really doing much of anything significant, you know what I mean? <sighs> Whatever the case, I feel like this Ten of Swords thing has kind of been a catalyst for them. They have realized that they need to make some changes within themselves, and so that's what they're going to do right now. That's what they're doing. That's what, that's what they're working on here. And when it comes to you specifically, they've stepped back. They've stepped away from it. They are, I don't think they're making any plans to do anything, really, um, besides wait. Besides just see what happens. Um, and I think, I mean, I don't think this is, like, I don't think they're planning on doing this forever. Like, I feel like eventually they will put their focus back on this situation, but they want to get it, they want to get themselves together first. Do you know what I'm saying? We have the children card and we have release your ex. So yeah, release your ex. This card is basically just telling me like pretty much what I just said. They're walking away from this for now. Um, this is not a permanent thing, I don't think. For the vast majority of you, this is just a temporary walking away. Um, this is, again, just so that they can figure out what's going on here. And like I said, I think they just, they want to do some work upon themselves. The children card can talk about a person's inner child, so... There could be something related to their inner child that they need to heal, that they need to get in touch with again. Um, I I just feel like this person maybe had a lot of bottled up emotions, a lot of things that they repressed in their life that just kind of came bubbling up to the surface that they couldn't really hold in anymore. And that maybe had something to do with what happened between you guys. Um, so... <sighs> whatever that was, it was kind of like, I think it made them realize that they have some issues that they need to sort out because if they don't, this isn't ever going to work. Nothing else they try is ever going to work. They're never going to be happy <laughs> until they get their shit together and like take care of these things that they have been ignoring. You know what I'm saying? Um, and some of you might be upset or disappointed because, you know, you're wanting them to, you were hoping to hear that they're, you know, going to come back towards you and whatever. But the thing is, if they did that right now, it would just end pretty much the same way. Like, they would just end up walking away again because the root problem would still be unaddressed. So it's a good thing that they're taking time to work on this root issue within themselves so that when they do come back around, things will be different. Things are not going to play out the same way they did before. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, as, as far as you specifically, they don't really have intentions besides just, you know, letting go and, and giving it time. Uh, their intentions are to work on themselves, actually. Um, so, th and, and that's a good thing, you know? Um, so, uh, group three, that's your reading. Um, I hope this resonates with you, and I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, if it didn't resonate, I hope that this was entertaining, at least. I don't know. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know these uh, readings today were a little bit short, but I am recovering from 
uh, an illness. Um, so thank you again for watching, guys. As always, if you have suggestions for future pick a card videos, um, leave those in the comments. I'm always interested to see, you know, what you guys are uh, looking for in readings. Um, and I, yeah, I don't know what else I was gonna say. So I hope I see you next time. Bye.